Welcome back to our class tutorial. In this video, we're going to introduce HTML forms. We will allow our users to submit information to a web app through the usage of forms. Up to this point, our users have just seen information that we were displaying to them. From now on, we want to get information from them using HTML forms. HTML forms are a standard. Every time you are using, for example, the search box in google.com, you're using a HTML form. For this video, we're going to use our 13th module, Simple Form Submission. If you check the code closely, what you will see is the interaction of HTTP methods. We're using the post and the get HTTP methods. If you remember from our HTTP part, we were saying that whenever you were submitting a request, the client was submitting a request to the application, it could use different type of HTTP methods or verbs. In this case, we are responding to two different methods, either get or post, and those are being handled by the same Flask view. Why is this? Basically, when we display the form, we will be, the client will be issuing a GET request. Whenever I access this page, I am sending a GET request to get this particular resource. We're going to identify that GET request and what we're going to do is to serve the particular form that we want to show. In this case, this form to add a new book. When we fill the information of this form, for example, and submit it, we will be issuing a POST request to the same resource. So that's when we use the second branch of this particular view, the one handling the POST request. If you check them closely, they are really similar, just they are rendering different types of templates. The first one, the one dealing with the GET request, will respond with the template that has the actual form that we want to display. This form is included in the basic form.html template. If you look closely, and we can also inspect the HTML code from here, you will see that each one of these text boxes are basically input HTML tags as the one displayed here and also displayed here. You can basically can walk through these inputs and you will start learning how HTML basically works. When the user submits the data, we're going to get into this post branch and we will render a different type of template. But in this case, we will have already the information available from the form. So let's submit this example again. And what we're doing when we receive the form is extracting the data. We are extracting the title, the ISBN, the author from the particular form. As you can see here, the title, the ISBN, the author. And we are also extracting other type of information. For example, we're including a hidden type of input that has the name of secret key with a value remoter. And we're basically extracting the same one in the, from the form that we are receiving. Basically, we're just putting all the data together and rendering the basic form result.html template. And that's what we're seeing right here. The data that we sent are, is right here above. And then we have the other data that it's basically the secret hidden input and also the value of the submit button. The only important thing to understand about forms is how the process works and that's why I want to stress it one more time. Basically you will have to handle two cases. One is when the user is requesting your particular form. So for example if you visit google.com, Google will fetch the basic information from the Google page and will serve just the text input for you to submit your, your query. Once you submit your query, that's a different type of reaction. Google will uh, search the results and will give you a different page. So usually when we work with forms and if, if the form is in the same view, we will have to handle these two different type, types of requests. Finally, it's important to note that the Flask feature that allows this type of behavior, differentiating the different types of uh, HTTP 
verbs or methods is this methods keyword that we pass to the route decorator. By default, Flask will allow just get request to any type of view that you create. If you want to support different HTTP methods, post, delete, any other method, you will have to explicitly put it in the methods keyword list.